Namaste, welcome to Arthaniti, where we discuss money and money matters to help you in your everyday investing decisions. I am Dr. Shefalika Gokhale. I hold a PhD in business practices of mutual fund houses. These videos are part of the Investor Awareness Initiative of Samyak Finserve. Today, we will discuss a flexi cap fund which has made a mark in the mutual fund industry. A flexi cap fund which has made its investors millionaires in the last decade. This fund, which is the largest flexi cap fund, has given returns consistently over the last decade. I am talking about Parag Parekh flexi cap fund. Today, we will first see what a flexi cap fund is, compare the performance of Parag Parekh flexi cap with other such funds in the industry, understand the unique investment strategy that Parag Parekh fund uh, implements, uh, and what should you do if you want to take advantage of the kind of returns that Parag Parekh flexi cap fund has uh, generated. So uh, let us start this video by first focusing on the basics. We will first understand what a flexi cap fund is. Flexi cap funds are funds which invests in companies across market capitalization categories. So it invests in large cap, mid cap as well as small cap companies. Now, uh, what makes these fund a better investment option say instead of investing only in small cap funds or mid cap funds is that they invest in a, a large array of companies right from large cap to small cap uh, which makes them less riskier as compared to say a specific category like investing in small cap or mid cap. Secondly, these are equity funds where at least 65% of the investment needs to be done in equity. Since they are equity funds, the taxation of equity funds, which is applicable in India, is for short term gains, it is taxed at 15%. For long term gains, say if you sell the fund after one year, up to 1 lakh rupees of gain, there is no tax. Above 1 lakh rupees of gain, you will have to pay tax at 10%. So now let us concentrate on the Parak Parekh Flexi Cap Fund. Let us have an overview of this fund. As of 31st May, the fund had an AUM of roughly 66,300 crores. It is the largest and the most popular fund in the Flexi Cap category in India. The NAV for regular plan stood at around 75.18%. One thing which you should know, which they have disclosed in the scheme information document is it has the highest risk factor for investors. Why? Because that category itself is a high risk category that is clearly mentioned in the scheme information docu document. The expense ratio of the funds uh, stands at 1.3% with where the industry average is 1.8. Now, it is very important that we pay attention to the expense ratios of funds. Why? Because it eats into the returns that we get from our investments in these funds. So, lower the expense ratio, better are the returns uh, on our investment. In the last five years, this fund has generated returns of nearly 192% in comparison to its benchmark, the Nifty 500 index, which has generated a return of 132%. The investment strategy that the fund uses is focusing on international uh, market as well as domestic market to mitigate uh, risk through diversification. That is what their investment strategy is. In the last one year, the fund has generated a return of 36.83%. Now, if a SIP was done in this fund, say a 10,000 rupee SIP was done uh, in 2013, that was the year when the fund was launched, it has grown to nearly 46 lakh rupees today, delivering an annualized return of 21%. So that is a phenomenal performance by this fund. Now the portfolio of this fund, the various categories, the various industries in this uh, in which this fund invests its uh, money is uh, they have significant holdings in banking stocks, roughly 20% of the total investments. Uh, in IT and computer software, 11% 
and uh, in capital markets they have an investment of roughly 7.78 so roughly 8% of their investment is in capital markets so these are the major holdings that they have in their portfolio let us now look at the differentiation factor in Parak Parekh Flexi Cap Fund vis-a-vis -vis other funds in that category. What makes this fund high performing and unique? Let us look at their investment strategy. Now, it is a known fact that many mutual fund houses, big mutual fund houses like SBI, ICICI Prudential, AMC hold large amount of cash in their portfolio. They do this to wait and watch. They do this to gauge the right time, the right investment opportunity when they can invest their money in the market and get uh, high returns from it. What is different with Parak Parekh Mutual Fund is that they have a fully invested approach to their investing. It means unlike other mutual fund houses, like I told you, SBI, ICICI, who hold a significant amount of cash reserves, Parak Parekh prefers to be fully invested, enhancing potential returns during market uptrends. Diversification is one factor which differentiates Parak Parekh Flexi Cap Fund from its peers. Now, they believe in mitigating their risk through diversification, not only domestically, but in international uh, investments as well. As of now, roughly 14% of their holdings are in foreign companies. Now, they do this not to generate higher returns, not only to generate higher returns, but to mitigate risk by diversification. Fund managers of this fund maintain a diversified sector allocation in their investments. What this helps in is reducing risk. Uh, by investing in a vast variety of sectors instead of overtly relying on a single sector and its performance. This fund is advised for long-term investors who view stock investments as being part owners in a company in its long-term journey instead of being short-term traders in that particular stock. As the fund lies in the high risk category, the longer the period that you remain invested, the lesser is the risk of uh, facing losses in this investment. The fund house advises a minimum investment period of five years. What is so unique about the investment strategy followed by Parak Parekh Flexi Cap Fund? Well, the fund managers uh, focus on fundamentals. They invest in companies with strong fundamentals which have a potential for good growth and reasonable valuations. The adaptability of flexi cap fund to shift investments between large cap, mid cap and small cap categories depending on market conditions gives it an edge over funds which have a more rigid structure. The long-term performance of the fund highlights its capability of generating significant wealth for its investors. As already discussed, if a monthly SIP of 10,000 rupees was done continuously from 2013 when the fund was launched, today it would have created a corpus of roughly 45 lakh rupees. So in 11 years time through 10,000 rupees monthly SIP, you would have invested around 13 lakhs 20,000 rupees. The value of that investment today stands at 45 lakh rupees generating a significant return for investors. Lastly, to conclude this commentary, investors should keep in mind following points before deciding to invest in this fund. Firstly, this fund is for long-term investors. Why? Because this fund lies in the high risk category. Long-term investors can mitigate that, that risk over a pe longer period of time. The fund house itself recommends investing for a period of minimum five years. So if you know that you're invest you will need funds before that and you want to invest with specific period goal in mind, this type of investment is not for you. If you are an investor who is risk averse, who does not like to take high risk, this fund is not for you. If you are an investor who does not like investing in the stock markets, this fund is not for you. 
this fund is not for short term quick money traders this fund is for people who believe in taking high risk and getting uh, rewarded likewise who have a longer time duration in mind and who invest in stocks not uh, as a way to earn quick bugs but to create wealth over a significantly longer period of time so this fund is for all such people now this video was for educational purposes to let you or to start a discussion about uh, funds which are making uh, news in the mutual fund industry which are high performing and which are implementing unique investment strategies in their fund management this was a video for educational purposes this was not an investment advice it is always advised that you approach a farm, uh, uh, investment advisor who can help you take a right decisions to suit your needs and demands so if you have any questions regarding this video please feel free to uh, comment below the video and i will be happy to engage with you also if you have liked the video please hit the like button subscribe and share this video to uh, increase the reach and so that we can create financial awareness about for uh, like uh, maximum number of people um, and uh, help reach the channel to more and more people until next time stay safe and goodbye enjoy your weekend